Whether you're new to pool and practicing the basics or a more experienced player performing drills to improve your shot making and positional play, the Drill Partner is perfect for you. PremierBilliards.com. Exceptional cues, cases, and accessories from top tier brands. Want it? Need it? Find it. PremierBilliards.com. What is up, Pinozo? How are you, my man? Apparently, I got my coffee. You got yours? Uh, no, no, not yet. No, actually, I've been thinking, I've been staying away from coffees and energy drinks and all kinds of stuff. Just doing pre workout in the morning, and I'm good all day. All day, all night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Except when I'm on the road, it's funny because I'll go on the road and people just see me taking down monsters and they're like, that, that's, that's all they know me by. Yeah. But when I'm at home, when I'm at yeah. home, it's a different story. I can't so. drink that stuff. No, no, no. So, Mike, we got a big show in store today. We got yeah. a big show lined up next week, too. A lot of fun guests that I'm working on. Guest, one guest at least announced for next week. But this is a group of guys that I've been wanting to get on for some time, Mike. You know, we always hear about the monsters that are over there um, uh, across the water, but we never really get like real deep inside knowledge. And I hear, Mike, that what we're going to be plugging into here in just a second, there's a room full of these guys, full of champions. World Cup of Pool Champions, World Champions, literally the who's who of Filipino uh, billiard superstars are out there right now, Mike. Yeah, no, it's it's going to be great because this is like, you know, it's it's the some established stars like Rublin and Cheska and Chua, but, you know, but also the young up and comers. And it's, you know, we've always, you know, known they were there and we always wanted them to be more in these events, more in the international right. tournaments. We wanted to see them more often, see them here in the U.S., see them in Europe. And and it looks like, you know, because of the two guests we're going to have on, uh, this is going to start happening with a lot more frequency. So it's really exciting. Well, it's a fun, like, transition because I remember whenever I first started watching this type, like, this generation of Filipino players, it was always on YouTube. And it was, right. I remember it was Chua and Ignacio. Those are the two guys, you know, that when I, when I first started watching all these Filipino stars on YouTube. And now there's this whole new crop of kids right. who are rolling in, like like uh, Rhoda and all these guys yeah, who were Bernie, just, yeah. and Lario, and, and oh, just all and these guys Garland. were just – Asses. killers you know yeah and so it, it's it's a transition i don't and i and then i feel old mike i'll be honest with you and then, I, and then i feel like i'm just <laughs> i'm getting old and i don't know what to do with myself so uh but it's gonna be a good time mike what do you say yeah. we, we bring these boys on in let's huh? do it let's get them uh, in here let's do it out of the philippines team mar boys how are you guys <clears throat> hey good We're danny, all good and here. danny and jr right yeah yep we're happy and party uh, now <laughs> we got a uh, we're having a celebration right now for uh, Jeffrey uh, Ignacio coming back in after dominating in Indonesia. So yeah, there's yeah. a lot to celebrate. And then of course Cheska as well. I mean, really everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's so, my boys, you know, home of the boys, champions so over here. Let's bring you know our, our the people who are watching a little bit up to date on what Mar Boys is. Mar Boys is yep. a pool club yeah. that that UJR started yeah. in the Philippines. And uh, started, you know, using it as a training ground for a lot of the younger players and, yes, and trying right. to create some structure within them as, as to get them to think of themselves as a team, not just as all individual players, as all working right. together. And so, you know, you've got established stars like Cheska and, and Chua and Ignacio, Feliciano, you know, people like that, Rubelin. But then you've got all these young stars that are coming up, uh, you know, Bernie and, and Marvin and, and all these young players. So tell us a little bit about the vision behind that and how you made it happen. Uh, basically, I didn't see that it's going to be so big initially. I just thought of sending a few Filipino players abroad, just trying to make a difference in the international competition. And then even before you know it, I was trying already trying to do the Filipino Invasion 2.0 when, uh, you know, the Lou Watts, uh, the Bustamantes, the yeah. Lining, the, the Dodo, uh, Dodo Mandam, uh, Parika, with all those names. And now we have our own. We have the James Aranas, we have Johan Chua, uh, we have Carlo Biado, now we have Cheska in women's. 
uh, and all the other guys. So and now Jeffrey Ignacio is uh, making waves now. His yeah. Recent performance from being a finalist in the Chinese Taipei against Koping Chung, and then he won back to back in Indonesia. So Bernie also made it with headlines by making it uh, in the first uh, uh, nine ball uh, mushroom sanction tournament yeah. outside uh, Europe and US. So, yeah. I think Marvel is really uh, some of the missions that we were trying to create was to be able to bring uh, our some of the unknown players, the monster unknown younger players, uh, into the international limelight, which has always been a challenge in the Philippines. You know, um, lack of funds, lack of um, sponsorships, and you know, we we're moving away from. I mean, a lot of the Filipino players here are very steeped into money play, of course, yeah. to support themselves. Well, we're, we're trying to transition that into um, justifying that a little bit more and, and, and bringing our players uh, into the international limelight and, you know, uh, making a, a difference that way yeah. into the lives of um, a lot of these professional players that are actually pursuing a career, but very difficult to pursue a career here. So, it is, and that's <laughs> why you guys, they need help if they want to pursue the career in the right way. Um, yeah, yeah, right. And that's where you guys come in as being kind of the, you know, uh, you know godfathers and and you know father figures to, Not yet. and managers and kind of playing all, yeah. play <laughs> all those different roles to get them to buy into the program. Has it been hard? Are they pretty accepting to doing? Uh, you know what? The, the first the first uh, challenge would always be getting passports. You know why? Yeah. Because most of these kids, they play so well, they could be a world-class athlete, but they don't have any passports at all. They don't even have birth certificates. Right. So that was the first challenge for us, making sure that they, they have their birth certificates filed, and then that's the first requirement for you to have a passport. And then you have to have a proper identification. So we also have to apply for a national ID for these kids and then eventually apply for passport. And then when you apply for passports, then there's a restrictions with visa. So we, we are, I think we have the, we have a lot of challenges in applying for, uh, for uh, visa. So I think, I think uh, because of uh, James Rana's uh, breaking the barrier already with the Marboy's team, then eventually everything became so easy with uh, Bernie following up Johan and then Jeff Ignacio and then Marvin yeah. Asis. Kyle Moroto has been joining the team, but it was not official until uh, after Hanoi. So we've been helping these kids process their papers, uh, giving certifications for employment and uh, uh, attaching some bank cer uh, certificates, bank statements. These are the requirements. These are the challenges for you to to have uh, at least a chance to get uh, your visa approved. Yeah. Because every time we travel, we need visa. I think so, more, more than just a visa as well, you have to, we have to, they have to provide proof of uh, 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 monetary, monetary yeah. support, income, or right. they have to show cash, straight cash. Like yeah. Roland Garcia just went to uh, yeah. the United States and he has, every player has to show 2,000 US dollars to the embassy or the immigration when they enter. Mm -hmm. And so those are the small challenges. And you know, uh, the Filipino passport isn't really that strong worldwide in the first place. Yeah. And so those are a lot of the challenges that we've been you know, trying to overcome. And it's getting better. Uh, and like you said, uh, as, as we um, process a lot more of these guys um, continuously, then it uh, gets easier. the countries will um, cooperate a little bit better. Right, right. Yeah. What's the, what's the optimism been like with these players going from just being? Uh, we're losing you know, your. Oh, can can you guys hear me? Barely. You barely. What, what's what's been the feedback like from the players? Just given all the success that some of these guys have had, like James and Chua, and some of these other guys, and seeing their worldwide success, guys like Kyle doing well on a matchroom stage. What's been the reception like from other players following those successes? Well, you know, there, there's there's so many players. I mean, I think at last count, we've got over a hundred players up in that professional level. I mean, as far and and so uh, there are names that you guys have never even heard about that are that are just monster players all over the country. And I, I think the um, uh, these young players that that Marboys are, are are supporting right now is a lot of inspiration for a lot of these other players uh, coming in. I, we can barely hear you for some reason. Can you hear me better? Um, yeah, your volume's completely. 
Yeah, Mike's better. Mike Peloso. So Mike Peloso's volume is way better. I just is talk it? louder. I just talk louder. Yeah, check, check. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's better. Yeah. Let's see. I'll try. I'll try to up with the volume. We can't up my gain a little bit here, boys. See if that helps it out any. Yeah, we can't hear you at all. Can you guys okay. hear me at all? Check, check. Go ahead, Mike. Okay. Can, Can you hear me? My phone? Yeah. Can you hear me, Jr.? Yeah, we lost your volume completely. Okay. Hey, maybe maybe see if you guys can uh can refresh, come out and come back in for us if you're yeah, able let me, to. Let me let me try and refresh on my phone here. Okay. Okay. We'll send you guys. We'll send you guys to the back, and then just try refreshing your browser if you can. Okay. Okay. Yeah, all right. Let's see if we can get. Kind of see, chat. Yeah, Mike, can you hear me all right? Yeah, I can hear you fine. It's it's yeah, all just, fine on my end. I think it's just with their end or not. Uh, the connection or something's not not yeah. not working out just right. So uh, let's see this. Can you guys hear us? Oh. Oh, 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 hold on a second. Let me. Try. They they got they got to turn off that other one. Let me let me kick them out of this one. Okay. And then uh, we'll bring in this one. Hey, can you guys? Oh, might have lost them all, Mike. Well, let's see if we can get them on here in just a second as they <laughs> as they refresh. It's never a dull moment. Um, no, it's, you know, I think it's it's you know what we were talking about and what they're talking about, which is really to me interesting, is that you know they they become kind of a, a management group for these kids and. And, you know, the, the young Filipino players, like they said, they come in, they grow up gambling. They don't have a lot of education. They don't know a lot of these processes that they have to go through. Yeah. And so having someone be able to facilitate all that for you is huge in getting this, you know, getting them to play internationally. Especially as they become more professional, Mike, more than anything. Right. And that's you know? the whole thing. That's what you I guys, really like about it. Can you guys hear us all right? I can hear you. Can you hear us? Yep. Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you just we can hear you pretty good. Okay. You have to sit a little further away or yeah. or get your heads in a little closer to the screen. Yeah. See if you can back up just a little bit once you get everything situated out there. Okay, we got you back on. All right, good. Yeah. You can hear us now? Okay. So um you know, you talked about all the visa issues and passport issues and, and being able to What's that? Hang on. <laughs> okay. All right. Can you talk for me? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Mike. Can you hear oh, us? Can hear you. All right. Can you hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? Ali, your volume is going back and forth again. Yeah, I don't know why yeah, that it is. It must be something with the signal there because it's okay, you know, our, our listeners. Our listeners can hear us fine. Can yeah. you hear me? No. I'm not, I don't think yeah. so, Mike. Okay, I'm the listener. I mean, I okay. can put the mic in. We'll send about, you guys. See if you can try refreshing one more time for me if you can. We'll send you back okay. to the back and then we'll you see if we can get it going what, like that. What we might end up doing is putting a um, earplug in. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me try that. Just one set, of, one set of earplugs, one ear, one ear in each guy. There you go. <laughs> but Mike, you know, it's pretty remarkable. It's like you, you know, you think about they mentioned all these names like a Parika and obviously the, the names that everybody everybody knows, yeah. right? Luat and 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 Efren and, and Bustamani. And, 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 and it's yeah. like, and then you just think about it, they just continue to produce, Mike. You know, this region just continues to produce. They do, but what I think is interesting about what they're these guys are doing and what makes it good is that um, it was not really a whole generation, but there was a there was a void in there for a while after the Efren Bustamante Perica, yeah. you know, Luat, Linning, all those guys on Dom. There was kind of a dry spell, you know. It was it was kind of the same guys. They were just older, um, and so now we're getting that that new wave of Filipino players. That what, kind of, why do you think that was Mike? Well, I think it was all a matter of the problems that they were talking about, you know, travel visas, uh, yeah. having the money to, to work with that type of thing just wasn't there for a lot of these kids. So they just stayed in the Philippines and just played there and gambled there and maybe played in some Asian tournaments. And, you know, they just didn't have, and, and, and after the uh, PBT kind of, 
you know, faded away. There was a kind of a void in the U.S. in st structure for American pro tournaments anyway. So there was kind of this dry spell, um, and you didn't see a lot of new Filipino talent come over to the U.S. It was just, you know, the same old guys or nobody. Uh, so that's why it's so exciting to me to see uh, what could be a stable of a half dozen or more guys that we can see, young guys that we can see on a regular basis. You know, we well, you say stable, year. but it's not a loose term because there's, there's, I mean, they're deep, Mike. You mentioned yeah, all they, they are they're, deep. They're, 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 deep. they're, they're yeah. going off off a long list, and those are just guys who guys and girls who are behind them, literally. Right. You know. So, and so you know, to, to see them on a regular basis is what everybody in pool wants to see, and what will make pool better, and what will make pool better in the Philippines if there's more exposure for them and things like that. So, um, you know, it's kind of a big step, uh, you know, to me to see them out there. Cause we, we've seen the, the bits and pieces, right? We saw, we, you know, we were all looking forward to, um, uh, you know, uh, Chua, you know, and he played in a couple of events, but then there were a bunch that he wasn't at. And we were all, looking well, we were all, it was always he like played that, in though. one and yeah. right. And that's why we're hoping yeah. that this changes now. Um, you know, it was, uh, you know, Anton Raga, you know, we taught you, know, you talked about him for a year and he finally came out, played the tournament, finished second in the world championship. And we'll see, and, we, have, we, we ain't really seen or him. Whatever, whole lot. Not world champ, but he finished second. And, and then Spain, you don't see him again. Yeah. So um, that's what we're looking for more than anything is some consistent uh, appearances by these guys. One, because they're great players and we love watching them play. Right. And two, because it'll show, you know, It'll show the world how good these guys are, and it'll make the game better. Well, I the think it's better when all the best players are there. I think as the sport le legitimizes, right, and gets more worldwide traction with the help of the likes of you know teams like Matchroom and you know uh, uh, players like that, then it'll help maybe maybe get them more opportunity in their country, you know, and yeah. to 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 afford them to be able to chase their dreams because right now it is very difficult. Um, but there is there is a way to make a name for yourself. And those, and there's a lot of guys who play guys and girls who play world-class jam up. And I've told the story a bunch of times on the show, but I remember it was, it was Shane and Dennis are in the Philippines playing a scotch doubles 10 ball event. And this is like, you know, when Shane and Dennis were Shane and Dennis, right. And they got robbed, and I, and <laughs> they, they got robbed by like a 12 year old Cheska. And I forgot, <laughs> and I forgot who the guy was, but they were, it was a guy and a girl Literally, they were like 12 years old and got heisted. I mean, just heisted. <laughs> and I was up at like whatever it was, three in the morning or something, you know, watching them play and just watching them get roasted completely. And it wasn't because they played bad. It was just because of yeah. the players that are out there, yeah. you know. And that's yeah. what never like your be, mind just really need, just. They need to be on the big stage more often to show everybody what they can do. And, and they need to be on the big stage to show themselves what they can do. Because when they get out there once a year, that, you know, it doesn't surprise me when they don't do well because it's it's a tough situation. Well, but they kind of go against the grain, though, Mike, because they show up once a year, they win the World Cup of Pool. They show up once a year and they make waves like Kyle did in in his first right. matchroom event. You know, Anton the same way I think after his second event. You know, and right. it's like it's it's remarkable because I've always said that there's this transition. I don't care who the player is, but they seem to kind of defy that logic. It looks like yeah. we're trying to get them back in, so just stand by, you guys. We got Jr. loading up right now. And uh, getting getting his phone, his phone situation. Just some time to tell him that we've already discussed everything. And they can yeah. The rest of the day. <laughs> Let's see if we can bring him in. Hey, can you hear us? Yeah, we can hear you really good now. Okay, really? perfect. It's so loud though. It's, yeah. Now it's loud. Now it's too loud. <laughs> no, it's good. Bro. Okay. Good. Good deal. Go ahead, Mike. Okay. Are we good? Yeah, yep. good. Okay. There you go. There we go. So. We've been talking while you guys were getting set up. We've been talking a lot okay. about about what you're doing over there and getting all these guys to get guys and women together and traveling as a group and things like that. Um, and that's you know it, what we've seen over the past couple of years is one of the young players will come to a tournament and do really well, and then we won't see them for another six months or eight months, you know, maybe. And, and, you know, and what I'm looking forward to most out of my boys is this idea of being a group and traveling together all the time and seeing these players more often. 
So will that happen this year? Will we be able to see, you know, uh, Bernie in four or five tournaments and James in four or five tournaments and whatever, or will they be one off again? That's, that's what I'm looking forward to most. Give me something good. Uh, I'm giving you so much already, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> but that was all There's on the Q. That, that was all on the QT. Right we're now, we're, we're yeah. going public now. So, for people uh, listening and watching this uh, podcast, uh, I'd like to announce that uh, Bernie Regalario will be making his US debut this coming March. Nice. He will be one of the players in the Premier Pool League. So we are now processing his US visa. We finally got this appointment. Uh, just a couple of hours ago because the original appointment was supposed to be in, in april see how how hard we have to to monitor yeah. these websites every now and then we we have to ask our secretaries don't sleep until we get the the schedule that we wanted that we needed and uh, finally uh, god's grace we were able to secure a slot on uh, february 26 for uh, bernie regalarius us visa and then after that, these boys will be going to the UK Open. We will all be joining the UK Open. And then after that, I think we will be uh, also joining the World Pool Championship. We're just waiting for the for formal announcement uh, when it's going to be and where it's going to be. Okay. And also we are planning to join in Euro European Open Championship. Uh, the Spanish Open, we're still thinking about it because we wanted to have another another tournament that goes aside with it because it's going to be very expensive. You know, you also yeah. have to understand where we're coming from. We're traveling around uh, at least 16 to 18 hours just to get to Europe. Right. So our airfares, our visa requirements, it costs a lot of money for these yep. Filipino players. Uh, so we're, we're thinking of spending at least 1.2 million pesos uh, for the team uh, for the first trip in the uh, UK. And then there will be another uh, 1.2 million. I've been explaining this to Emily because I've been uh, asking her for some leeway in terms of the schedule so that we could yeah. uh, book advance so that uh, these players could actually afford to, to, what is, to join what is, this What uh, is 1.2 million pesos in dollars? So that's basically... 22,000. 22,000, okay. okay. For the team, yeah. for the five players. So, yeah. so that's a lot of money already. Yeah. Even we win the tournament. It's not gonna be very break even. So that, but that's fine because I always tell my players it's not the name on your back. It's 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 the the, the, the country that you represent with. It's it's who we are as a Filipino. We are the we say the mecca pool. We are the the dominant uh, country in terms of the sport. But uh, we have to show it. We we have to show them that we have to win some tournaments and we have to show dominance. We. They keep on saying we we send an army and then we we barely win anything. So, but now I think now in the majors I think we will have a very good chance because with Marboy's team alone I, I think we're we're sending at least five minimum of five players. So, so I you... think one of the one of one of the things that's happening here in the Philippines as well. Because, uh, and and Marboy's is probably the the primary to take credit for is it's given all of these other sponsors a wake up call. You, you you'll notice that. There are other players that you're seeing now uh, that are traveling, you know, within parallel to Marboys, uh, sponsored by other Filipino um, sponsors, and and there's more and more that are happening. And of course, um, regardless if it's with Marboys or other sponsors, Filipinos uh, dip, uh, likely always uh, travel together anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, they stay in the same hotel. Yeah. They're, yeah. They're, you know, we're yeah. a we're a big family, even if we're in separate. Um, you know, uh, uh, sponsorships and Sponsor, leagues right. and, and teams, when we travel across the countries, we're one team, really. All the yeah. We're very supportive yeah. of, of each other. You always it's seem to like, you know, yeah. yeah, always. So and so what I'm saying is that um, there's been a influx in a lot of the other sponsors trying to jump on that wagon going, hey, we got to send our guys too, right? Even if we're not more boys, we need – so, I mean – you're seeing right now, you're witnessing an evolution happening now uh, here in Asia, uh, it's, uh, particularly in Philippines right now. You're going to be seeing more and more. Yeah. So that to answer your question, Mike, yeah. uh, whether it be with my boys or other um, players, you're going to be. I mean, like I think Jeffrey DeLuna just started sponsoring his own players as well. Yeah, he has two uh, top players 
right? Um, so you're going to be seeing a lot of that to answer your question, Mike. Not yeah. just with my voice, but with other players. But we're we're I think we're probably the leaders in in that yeah, field right now. Of course. Yeah. Go ahead, Mike. No, I'm just I'm I'm excited to see more stars come out of there, you know. And with guys like you giving them opportunity, they're going to be introduced into this world class world stage. Um, that, that all the eyes in the world are going to be able to view them. Um, what? Give, give me some unknown, some young kids who are out there that people have never seen before, uh, that ha that have the potential to be world champions that nobody's ever heard of over here. How young? How young? I have an eleven-year-old player yeah, seven now. Seven years still old. Practicing years playing old. with the pros. <laughs> I have an eleven-year-old kid. Can you imagine? We What's have, his name? Uh, I have. What? What's his name? We want I to get in on him early. Two years. <laughs> <laughs> two years. I have, I have two. I have a ten-year-old and eleven-year-old that are already sponsored by QTech. They're the youngest sponsored players from QTech in QTech history. Ten and eleven. Yeah. Um. I won't tell you their names. You'll see them. Okay. <laughs> uh. We know. We've got. We've got them as young as nine, ten, eleven that are already playing on. You know, pretty high level right now. Uh, over six hundred level right now. So. Give me an idea of the facility that you guys got over there to be able to train these young stars and, and world class players. Uh, we have a we have a zone table. We have a sponsorship from Andy Glott. Also, uh, we also get sponsorship from How. And let me tell you a story. This is funny. When I was trying to sell my boys to these sponsors, uh, they they want to handpick. Uh, they want when when Bernie beat Coping Chung, they only wanted Bernie. But uh, when Marvin Asis beat uh, Chang Yulung and uh, Ho Ping Chung again, they also wanted Marvin Asis. <laughs> and then Jeffrey Roda beat uh, Ho Ping Yi. They also wanted uh, uh, Jeffrey Roda now. Because I've been telling you, these boys can really play. We just have to give them time to, yeah. you know, to get used to the, to the environment, to the atmosphere of uh, international tournaments. But uh, I know these boys can really beat FSR, can be any day, any day. I, I'm putting my... Any yes. given day, I, I, I have got to bet my money. But you know the funny thing that why I'm sharing this to you? Now, every time I talk to sponsors for these kids, they don't want it. They don't want to deal with the kids anymore. Just deal with they just wanted to group. sponsor Marboy's Billiards because whoever I put the names there, if I put Mike Molina there, they sponsor Mike Molina. I'm if in. I Let's go. I'm on, I'm on a flight. Not. I'm on a flight. So. I'm no, on a flight, no, no. JR. No. No. I was, it was only a matter so of time now, before now, he get picked up. This is how it's going to be. You know, uh, this is the kind of, uh, you know, the kind of uh, atmosphere that we, we've created, I think, with the sponsors. So now, even the ladies with uh, then then uh, they're going to get the same sponsors as my my boys get. So if, if, if they're part of the team, they will be on the uh, same page already. It's not going to be any discrimination if you didn't win any tournaments or That's this awesome. guy beside yeah. you is a world champion. As long as you're part of the Marboys team, then you get the same deal as these boys getting. So, Who will be the five players this. at the UK Open? Who will be the, Sorry, five, again? Who, who will be the five players at the UK Open? I think seven. So, seven? My quad specific. My yeah. side kind of just... Mike, Mike needs the names. Mike, just got the formal invitation just a few hours ago about the UK Open. They just opened it up. So now we're trying to list down all the names, but definitely uh, James Oranas will be there, Kyle Moroto, uh, Jeffrey Roda, Bernie Regalario, Marvin As will be there, uh, Johan Chua will definitely be there, and uh, I think uh, Jeff Ignacio. So we're really sending an army. That's you know what? So I'm just, you know, I'm taking advantage of this uh, podcast to, to tell the world that I think we're the only group who's doing this uh, in this kind of magnitude. And I'm hoping that, you know, I'm not saying that I'm going to do this forever. I'm not saying also that I'm going to hold on to these boys forever. I'm just trying to pave the way, wait for the, the way for them so that eventually there will be a good Samaritan in the U.S., in the Europe that will pick them up and then take care of them and then eventually be on their own. I've, yeah. I've never, I've never dream of them being a, just a world champion. I want them to be a champion for life. You know, when yeah. they go back to the Philippines, they have a house to provide to their families. And when they have, because when they do have kids, they'll be able to send them to private institutions and send them to college eventually. That's my dream to be a champion in life. Not, not just those, those titles, those, uh, those yeah, trophies. I just want them to be a champion in life so that 
I'm not here I to make money. Uh, I, I already know what's up. We've put on a lot of our own. Yeah. We're all privately funded. I mean, right. we, we, we run our other businesses to put money in to sponsor these, these kids. You know, and, and something we touched up, up on uh, uh, about the sponsorship, you know, that's been a, that's been a huge issue uh, worldwide, right? The way right. the big companies are sponsoring the players, you know, giving them equipment and all that. And I think there's, there's a new, uh, th th there's a transition happening and, and we'd like to um, make that example here with Marbois, what, what Jay was talking about, you know, uh, previously they just handpicked like the top players, and, you know, the mid-level players, they never get a chance to actually shine you know, because they're, they're left in the wayside. Right. right. And so we, we, we want to make a, 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 a mark in the world of sponsorships as well, you know, um, and, and not just having direct sponsorship with the players, but having representation in a group like more boys and like, well, like what Jerry was saying, you know, um, sponsors will not go directly to the players anymore. They'll, they'll speak to us yeah. and, and we'll handle their sponsorship and they'll be dealing with, the organization and not the single player. And this is how we we grow this sport and grow the athletes to be real athletes, paid athletes uh, within a community, right? Not just uh, single players getting their single deals. Yeah. You know, we, we want to really uh, make that a coalition. We want to make that, you know. Well, that's, what's, um, uh, that's what's so go good about, that's what's so good about what you're doing to me that's that's unique and and it's that's a uh, a blueprint that other people can look at is that you know individual pool players everybody knows they need they need yeah, every man for himself they need help. Right? they need they need, Mike, they need I also somebody. I'd like to add that I also provide a secretary and a lawyer for them so every yeah. time they get into contracts I provide a lawyer for each and every one of them I provide yeah. a lawyer I provide the secretary every time they want to join tournaments just like in Bacolod all they have to do is call that number or message that number, and then they get their tickets and their hotels, and then they join their tournaments. That's yeah. how we set it up. We're not here to, to make money. We just want to assist them uh, to be able to join more tournaments uh, because these kids, you know, you're giving, it's, it's you're giving them hope, these JR. Kids, you're giving them hope for a better life, man. Yes, I'm just giving them a check. You know, a lot of people telling me, you know what, boss? You should you should do a mini tournament and you just send one or two players. You know why I'm just sending them equal share, equal opportunities? Why? Because one day I don't want them, one of them approach me. I never gave them a break. I never gave them a chance. Yeah. So that yeah. when I face them later on in life, I could honestly say to each and every one of them, I give you a fair chance. I gave you a chance. Every one of you got the, the same chance that I gave to every player. Yeah. If you yeah. don't make it, you don't break it. It's not on me anymore. It's on you. But yeah. I gave you, everyone gets to play in UK Open. Everyone gets to play in the US Open. Everyone gets to play in the European Open Championship. Everybody gets a chance to in all Japan. So they all get equal opportunities. So nobody can tell me to my face that, oh, boss is has a favoritism. They didn't give me a break. This is favorite is Bernie. His favorite is James Charles. No, you all got on board yeah. because I made it happen. Yeah. yeah, it's great. It's a great. It's a great way to approach it, and I think I hope the players all understand what you're doing for them because it's a matter oh, of do. getting them to, you know. I know you've got a dress code for them. You know, when they go to tournaments, they have to look a certain way. They have to act a certain way, um, mm -hmm. and that whole idea of of respect your sport, respect your country, respect mm -hmm. your fellow players and treat the game professionally, well, that's, I mean, a mind, it, it, that's a mindset that goes so far. To it, 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 it's a culture, Mike, the culture. Yeah. That's right. We, we want this to be a professional athlete. Right. We, we have to, we have to set those professional standards, you know, um, you know, for, when pools first started out, it was that, you know, underground, dingy, the hustlers and all of that. Right. And, and we've evolved out of that now. And, you know, and, and, and there's a, there's a worldwide, uh, evolution going on in, in billiards and and anybody that's been to really? hanoi but mike were you in hanoi were you no, in I vietnam wasn't. no well. okay so the growth in vietnam uh, is is um proof in the pudding that um this evolution this this growth has been happening yeah. whether it was with um you know you all of these promoters that are that are jumping in now nobody even knew about vietnam being that big right Right. And so right. it was eye opening for a lot of the professionals that went there as well. 
So we already know that this growth had been happening, you know, it, it, over here in Asia, and um, how they how they grew so so fast, so big. Let's 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 think about that, right? Mm -hmm. Where was WTA <clears throat> with there? Where was where was that involved then? I didn't yeah. know I was popular until Hanoi. That's right. <laughs> we got some funny stories to talk about later. Well, but I didn't know I was popular uh, until I got to Hanoi. Yeah, Guys, you got uh, a shirt that says I'm huge in Hanoi. Yeah. Send you beer, can we take it? Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's, it was yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's, crazy. It, it's crazy over there. Like they recognize you. I walk in, I'm, I, I'm not even representing anybody. And they're like, oh, can we play you? And I'm, I'm not even really a player. <laughs> it's okay, we want to play you. They're lining up to play me. And I'm yeah. like, Oh, okay. <laughs> right. I'm like a B player. <laughs> I'm real, right? But, well, yeah. but, but, but I mean, the point is, is that that growth has been happening. It's growing. It's happening in Indonesia. It's happening in, in, in Vietnam. It's happening in, in, in Philippines. It's been happening in the Philippines. Like, like five new pool halls grow, uh, opening up every month. It's just, it's unreal over here, right? Yeah. And yeah. so we're going to see this power struggle going on with the big organizations. And we know who we're talking about now. A lot of that has to do with this phenomenal growth happening in Asia, yeah. right? And and why mm -hmm. Mike's been bugging us to get on <laughs> for the last what, six months, eight months to get at on. Least, Mike, we're open least. for yeah. donations. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. We're open for donations so we can send more players. Donations? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, we'll, 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 we'll be, we'll be doing a lot more of these. We'll be talking a lot more about what's happening in in asia you know we're, we're there's nothing that goes on around here that we don't know about Look, and so yeah we'll, we want to we'll be we, opening up we want to learn more we want to know more we want to hear yeah. from players we want to hear more stories you want to hear about what sure. your what your impact has had on them as well you know so we look yeah, forward to having yeah. to having Absolutely. those conversations also what's up Mike? i think that the i think too the, the you know what you're doing uh is unique and it it to me it gives you a, even a better opportunity to develop right. sponsors and people who will climb on board Marboys as opposed right. to an individual player, because yeah. now you that's travel, right. you travel with a pack, you know, there's a, there's that's a lot right. of I value. Mean, there's a lot of value for a company who wants to sponsor Marboys as a group because new players right. will come in and go out, but the, but the, the core, the company, the, the group, the, right. the team will always be there. I think that's a really interesting and um, uh, aggressive approach to, a different approach to to pool as far as marketing goes. I think you guys have a great opportunity. I mean, I mean, we're just going with the times, right? Because originally the Filipino invasion was what a limited to what three or four guys, right? Luat, um, uh, Jose Parika, Efren Reyes, Django, right? Yeah. But but the, but it isn't like now when we send players. Now it's an army. It's an actual yeah. army. It's like seven, ten, twelve Filipinos. Yeah. Like when we just went to uh, Taiwan and into Indonesia, how many? That was like. How many was it? 15, 16? Like, you know, the top five were off. Top five of the eight were Filipinos in there, right? No, the yeah. top 24 yeah. players in the 32. Yeah. 24 yeah. players were Filipino. That's 24 wrong. of the 32 were Filipinos. Yeah. yeah. Right? And, and of the 24, probably eight of those guys, you guys never even heard about. Never even heard yeah. the name, right? So, That's true. So, so someone, true. Someone uh, you, want something asked, new? you want to hear that? something new, Mike? Yes, something always. New. Always. James Rolanas and uh, uh, Jeffrey Ignacio would be the next names to be announced in the World Nine Ball. Uh, uh, <laughs> Very nice. Awesome. Really? Very nice. Oh, Very Emily's good. gonna yeah. em, em, Emily's gonna love breaking some news on here, buddy. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot, we're live, Emily. Yeah. 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 There, there was two more I was gonna mention, but I'm not Give gonna mention. Give us more. Give us more. Give us more. Oh, uh, no, no. You guys get the experience. <laughs> I have Emily Fraser to that. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, she's, no, she's, she's phenomenal. So, she loves the, having the, I've always been a support of her. Yeah. So the the players are excited. Here, someone asked on here about Marboy's merchandise. You guys are going to have to start setting up booths at I just we should, you we should, I think we should start doing the Marboy's merchandise. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. To help me fund the players, maybe. Let's uh, talk about it. Listen, we'll talk head. about it. You know, I, I manufacture some send of them, Send them with I some think... patches. Start with that. You can throw some patches in a case. You can throw a couple yeah. of hundred in there, and they can just sell them, sell them off as, Actually, they, as Mike, they travel think, around the country. Uh, <sighs> Molina, Mike, I think I'm going to send you some that you can actually auction off or whatever and just give away. Well, I'll send can. something for you guys. We can. Um, cool. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. And then and then we'll, we'll, we'll in the online store they can order them. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you want yeah, to listen. see all the players? Yeah, you, you want to see the players yeah. right now? Should we yeah. walk you around? You want yeah, to yeah. walk through? Or, or you yeah. can bring them in? Or For sure. Do? Absolutely. You I want to see, see where they're there. playing, where they're practicing. You want to see my boys? Take the walk. Okay, Let's come on. Boys. Let's come on. Let's take the walk. I'll do a reverse awesome the stuff, camera. Is there, <laughs> is there a way that we could reverse the camera? Maybe I'll in just, the settings. Or you could just hold it there. Or just turn it. Oh, might have lost it. There we go. Okay. Here. Here's the, the pool hall. Man, look at that place. Second floor of the pool hall. There's another floor downstairs. Right. So I'll show Jeez. you the players. So uh, here's Bernie. Look at those lights, man. Look at that. Bernie. <laughs> there he is, man, the champion. This is the 11-year-old I've been telling you. In about four years, you'll be hearing his name in the world championship. <laughs> We're going to be keeping an eye on him. Bernie. He's 11 years old. That's crazy, man. That's awesome. Yeah. I of love course, that. the World Cup of Food Champions. Say hi. Hello. Hey, hey, hey Johan. Hi, hi, What's up, buddy? There you go. Of course. You just turned around. It's... Player. The happiest Filipino player. Hi, everyone. The Mr. Indonesia over there. Look at that. That's awesome, man. Congratulations, oh, Jeff. Good. I love that, man. That's so great, much. man. Very nice. Congratulations, man. All right. That's, that's and epic. I'll show you also. You also have one rock, one rock professional there you players go, man. here. Nice, <laughs> man. Hey. hey, this guy. You don't know this guy. We know. We know, we, we, we know that guy. We know that guy. Mike. <laughs> Mike. Double, double Mike. Yeah. Double Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Good friends, that's man. That's Marvin Asset James Aranas. It's Rafael Gonzalez. Nice, uh, man. He does all our tips. The best in the business. But yeah. he also plays good. He also plays in Hanoi. Uh, that's awesome, man. That's our logo there. He'll, he'll change now, it. Where's, where's Chess? Where's Chess? Where's Chess? Nice, Jeff man. Jeff Miroda. Nice, man. He's playing in the Philippines, now playing nine balls. He'll be going to he'll be going to US. world champion. Yeah. There she is. Girl. Yeah. World 10 ball, man. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Everywhere you so look, it's just champion. The all the sponsors that support us. So, so I'll show you. There. So these, those are the logos. Those yeah. are the logos that the support wall. us. Yeah. Yeah. Andy and Omen and... From Indonesia. It's a trading. And then we also have the nine ball logo here. Yeah. That's pretty wicked wall, man. Boys. We have Omen. We have How? Omen. We have Beauty. And Machu. Southview and Art. Those are the nice. sponsors. And this. Oh, might have lost them. I know you got to get out of here, Mike, as do I. Yeah. Um, I'm going to see if we get them back here. Come back in if that's all right. And just tell them, tell them that I had to, had to run. But, uh, uh, okay. Uh, but yeah. It was, that was yeah. a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Y you go do your thing, Mike. I'll close up shop and uh, close yeah, up shop. It's gonna be, yeah. Tell the boys thanks for their time. Jr. Listen, okay, we, bye bye. Hey, we appreciate your time, Jr. Thanks a lot. I hope this is the first of many that we have you guys on, man. Yeah, there. Yeah. Hey, can yeah, you guys we'll, hear us? We'll, we'll be back in touch, Mike. I'll be in touch with you. Yeah, buddy. Thanks a lot for everything, and okay. you guys, good luck and keep up the great work. We'll see all you guys real soon, huh? Some tables. We'll see bye -bye. you guys. Take care. See you bye -bye. guys. Well, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. And they got a lot of things cooking out there in the Philippines. And I'm excited to learn more. We're going to have uh, uh, more of these players on. And I'm, I cannot be more excited for it. So make sure keep your notifications on. We got a, a fun week in store on the horizon. Vegas is, is coming up as well before I know it. So stay tuned. Hit the like. Hit the share button. Thanks to all of our sponsors as well. Marboys, huh? Can't wait to see what the future looks like.